Good morning. Today is Monday, August, I think it's August 19th. Check here real quick just to be sure. Yep, Monday, August 19th, 2019. Uh, what I'm going to work on today, a couple different things. Uh, first thing, you know, around the sawmill, try to keep the sun out of the way. Around the sawmill, well, Dane Designs here, thank you for, for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, when I uh, do the cutting, saw, the sawmill kicks the sawdust off to this side over here. And, um, you know, it just starts accumulating and I'm walking on it, packing it down stuff. And then, uh, it, it needs to be cleaned out. So yesterday, it rained a little bit, but before the rain or during the rain, I was uh, trying to get all the sawdust and chips and stuff out. Then I got the, uh, the little blade on the little tractor there, the Mitsubishi came over, drag, drug the uh, sawdust out, didn't get it all, but you know, just got it out, pulled it over to this side here, and uh, uh, now I'm gonna get the backhoe, bring the, the blade over, the bucket, set it down, scoop all this sawdust into it, and then I'm trying to, going to try to find a spot out of the way uh, where I can start just kind of stockpiling it, you know, for for things like gardens, for uh, for things planters or things like that. My mom, my sister, you know, they do some different things, and and you know, you mix the sawdust in with some other dirt and stuff. It creates some good compost if that's what you want to do. So anyway. I don't want to waste it. Uh, the first time I did this, I don't know if I had a video of it, but the first time I did, I took the uh, sawdust over next to the well house and just, just spread it around the well house because when I drilled the well, had the well drilled, when it pumps that dirt and mud up, and you know when you're you're drilling and it, it, it it's really really an odd consistency really sticky so next to the well the hole is just this really thick mud so i was trying to you know anytime it rained or got damp and or it just stayed wet for a month you know just wet even when there's no rain but so i brought that over spread it around the well house mixed it in with that to mud and it seemed to uh to do okay it seemed to kind of mix in with the dirt there's some areas where you can tell like see that's what i'm talking about right there it's just once it gets wet it stays like a clay sticky muddy clay and it hasn't really rained a lot here in the last month it rained a little bit yesterday but not much and it's just sticky, sticky stuff. So, uh, mixed it in, or just spread all of it around here, try to get that thing kind of, you know, cleaner, I guess you could say. Not clean, but cleaner. And um, it worked. So anyway, that was one, one thing I did with the sawdust. And now I just, I don't really have a use for it right now without wasting it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna find a place to just start stockpiling it. And I don't know if you've seen uh, at, at lumber yards and places that sell gravel and dirt and sand, they have these little bins that they pile it so you can just scoop it with your bucket and it has a back uh, support so you know you don't just keep pushing it. So anyway, I'm gonna maybe create some of that because I have some old logs and, and posts and stuff that are you know, not usable as far as putting in the ground and connecting fences to. So I'm going to use those, I think, <clears throat> as a backstop. I just don't know where to put it yet. So that, that that's what I'm going to do uh, today. Thought about getting on that sawmill and starting to cut, <clears throat> but I've got to get this cleaned up right here, the sawdust. Get it out of the way. Then I need to back that trailer a little bit closer. I've changed this system a little bit, but I'll talk to you about that later. But anyway, so the sawdust, and then you see these little chunks of wood. 
will be perfect for kindling. Uh, you know, small chunks of the wood. Uh, I, I think what I want to do is create another little place to put that. You know, so that you know I can just throw it into the bucket on the, the backhoe, take it over, dump it, or a wheelbarrow, and you know, take it to a spot, dump it, so that that's where those go. Let I me mean, see. I've got tons of these things to just chip off as I'm sawmilling or getting the the log ready for the sawmill that that you won't be able to stop stack on the fire. Sorry about that sun, but trying to get you. You know, you you can't. You could, but. Uh, since we're going to be using most of it, but uh, taking those chunks, creating a spot to put them, because you know they're not going to be used for firewood. As far as if I wanted to sell some of this or whatever, you don't want just chunks. So you would want to stack it in there with the good firewood. So because they're too small. So. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, see, they're they're all over the place. I got you know chunks here that have split off when I was splitting wood that you just can't really use. So if I can find a spot, you know, right in here, maybe you know I've got this spot where I put these, you know, pieces of wood that I'm not using, um, where I can come to and get some of this stuff and take it and use it for different things. You know, maybe for the what I just talked about creating that little box area so to put the sawdust and creating a little box area to put the uh, wood chunks you know things like that because I've used some of this already um, I need to push it back and stack it a little bit better so I think what I may do is use my backhoe here in a second when I get it fired up and just clear this area push push it back right there uh, to put the sawdust in here maybe we'll look at I'll look at it and see once I start pushing that back in there and seeing what kind of situation I've got and then I've you know push this back that's all a good spot there and then I've got a little area here and this is just kind of all out of the way um, as far as you know what I need the area for i don't need any to be in that area right now so i can create a useful uh spot so i think that's what i'm going to do um obviously I, i'm going to fire that thing up my toy love my toy i say that a lot but anyway i'm going to push this stuff back here get this cleared back and i'll look at the situation maybe i'll be able to put both saw you know sawdust shavings and stuff and then the wood shavings right next to it and then all that may fit right in there but it's got to be wide enough so that i can use the bucket of the backhoe to scoop some out if we want to without having to pick it up or shovel it so that, that probably instead of trying to cram it all in one spot i'll put one thing here and one thing on the side over there so that way i'm not you know trying to cram a whole bunch of stuff in one spot I got plenty of space here. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I'm going to take a little pause here and get things organized, get the backhoe started, clean the spot right there so I can take my sawdust over there. And, uh, 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 you know, right now, because I have the situation here, which is an ideal, I'm having to put my bucket up in here and then kind of shovel or rake that sawdust into the bucket. Same thing right there, just a little bit, because I don't. Okay, not perfect, but it's going to be a spot right now. But I'm going to put this, so. Anyway, that's where it's going to go. Um, right in this area. I'm just going to pile it right here for now. And then I'll put, like I said, there's a little hole over there that I need to work on filling in. But then I'll put a backboard right in there. Maybe a couple on the side just to kind of separate it make sure you know that it's going to be able to stockpile in there so now I get to do a little bit of physical work because of lack of planning on my part but that happens uh, I'm going to start raking this over raking it up and then shoveling it you know raking this right here not much because the, the 
blade was pushing it over there yesterday so you know whatever i don't want to get too close to that thing and bump it so uh rake it over then i'll just shovel it into the bucket here i was able to push the bucket up fairly close again i don't like getting too close to stuff where i might make something worse you know than it than i need to because i'm not perfect at you know the finesse part of some of this stuff so anyway uh so that's what's getting ready to happen is uh doing a little bit of shoveling a little bit of raking uh to get this thing all cleaned up let's see if i can set this thing and you guys can watch me do some manual labor as you guys know i'm not opposed to probably do more than i should Look at all this. It's going to be good stuff. Good stuff. Getting it away from the sawmill. Cleaning all this up. Gives me a better working place. Saw, sawdust. It stacks up, and you're walking in sand almost. There we go. Got that. I don't have my shovel over here, so I'm gonna take a break. Go get the shovel. With a variety of dog vendors. The event starts at 10 a.m. with small dogs 30 pounds and under, and 11 a.m. for All large right. dogs over 30 pounds. Visit okc.gov slash works for event details and to register. Do you ever wonder why you just don't feel well, but you think you had a great diet, you exercise, and you feel like you're in good health? It may be something as simple as what you're eating. It's normally a healthy food, like broccoli or even a common spice. That doesn't mean you're allergic to food, but food's sensitive. Your body reacts by causing everything from brain fog, achy joints, gas, bloating, headaches, mood swings, and even resistance to weight loss. Hi, it's Lisa Sykes, and I took the food sensitivity test at New Leaf Wellness and was so surprised to find out what my body reacts to. After the follow-up consultation with the doctor, I realized that the process of eliminating the bad stuff just made me feel better. The food sensitivity test is available at New Leaf Wellness, and I promise, once you go through it, you'll feel better too. Schedule your food sensitivity test today and be on your way to better health. Even that little change in what you eat can make a big difference in the way you feel. Schedule your food sensitivity test today. Call New Leaf Wellness at 595-0700. Oh, the That's dust is going over towards Cameron. And for more information, go that to newleafcenters.com. My biggest fear when I met with Dr. Jen was just the fear of not looking real. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to bore you with just me shoveling, so I'll go ahead and push this. I'll finish this job up, get all this sawdust in there, then uh, take it over there and dump it. I'm not sure if I'll do anything with these, you know, wood chips today. The, they're not wood chips, but chunks, wood chunks, because I think I'm going to wait for a wheelbarrow, but I may clear a, an area like I showed you on the other side to put these uh, for use of later date. Okay, uh, signing off for now. Sorry about the sun.
Okay, well there you go. That little project's done for today. I mean, a lot more to do. Obviously, like I said, I'm gonna put the backstop over there, a couple logs or whatever on the side and the back. I don't know how high I'll make it, but you know, at least it gives it me some kind of a boundary there in that area for the sawdust. I'm gonna move, push that stuff back over there here in a second with the backhoe. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna push this, clear this area right in here for those uh, wood chunks. I'm not gonna call them wood chips because I don't have a chipper, you know, I'd be that's a different type of stuff. This will be wood chunks that I'll use for kindling or you know start fire, or whatever, you know, things like that. Uh, and then eventually if I ever get a wood chipper, you know, I can throw those in there and chip them up. Okay, well that's gonna be uh, it for this segment of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Little projects sometimes get in the way of bigger projects. Uh, so, but this is something I wanted to preserve, not waste as much as, you know, use it. it it's coming from the trees from my property. So, okay. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Doing the best I can out here. <laughs> All right. Bye.